So today I'm reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 9. Poor Fushigoro though, having to get beaten up by Toto because of his taste of women, which Toto was like, ah, uh, it's boring. And not exactly like their physical appearance, which maybe he does and he just said that because we had Nobara right there. But <laughs> and we saw a little bit of Mojito, and I know I was saying Mojito in the last reaction. I apologize, Mojito. I guess that day I was thinking too much of mojitos over mojitos, so. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we get to see some of his abilities, and then we ended off with this kid approaching him, so you never approach killers and ask them like if they did it, because then you're risking your own life, so never do that. If you see it on the street, just, you know, call the authorities. Like, don't go up to them and be like, hey, did you do that? Because that's very dangerous. Don't do that. <laughs> it seems like we are jumping time as well. So October 31st could come sooner than later. And I feel like that's gonna be like the big event in this season. So maybe it'll come near the end, but I don't know. We just skipped a month, so who knows? Anyways, before I get started with this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my Patreons, King of the Parts and Above Tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Sparkles. Okay, so time to get into this reaction. Let's go. Jujutsu Kaisen. What the heck? Oh. Okay. That's a start. Is, was that the kid from the last episode? Oh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is. <sighs> he looks so innocent though. Oh, he looks like a lonely boy. Oh, man. I feel that pain, though. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you wanted them to die. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah, let's not give powers like that to a kid like that. Like, no. Oh, that was so sad, though, seeing him get bullied like that. Those guys were so mean. And then showing up, I'm pretty sure those were the same guys, especially because they said Tibisu or whatever the heck that girl's name was. I honestly couldn't tell because they kind of looked very generic. I'm wondering if they're going to go after the girl next because he wants to be able to do that as well. And I feel like he wants to get revenge on that girl. I don't know. It sounds very bad though. The fact that that girl was just sitting there enjoying it as he was getting beat up, I'm like... I can't believe he said that though. That takes some guts. But right afterwards, I'm like, of course, following that, you'd be like, yeah, he's definitely going to get beat up. He's outnumbered. That kid definitely needs some friends. Oh, that's useful. <laughs> I like how he's like. <laughs> okay, I'm probably the only one that can see this, but <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Yoshikage Kira from JoJo's. He kind of looks like him, except like the glasses and stuff. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> He's a little too serious for Ichidori. <laughs> Kento. 
<laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that's what. That's what. That was something I was thinking of from the last episode when we saw him. I'm like. Why do we have Gojo and then he covers his eyes unless they all have like the same type of eyes and maybe there's something special about them? I mean, maybe we'll find out, but... Or maybe it's like an identity thing? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Both are equally shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I like this guy. Sometimes being harsh is very effective. Oh my gosh. Yes, let's see you in action, okay? <laughs> oh. Almost thought he was about to pop his shirt off. <laughs> That's an interesting weapon. Okay. Okay, so Kento is a very interesting guy. I like him already. <laughs> He's fun. Oh, that's nifty. Itadori Kun. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, look at his eyes. Oh, man. This guy is so sexy. <laughs> I like him so much. I feel like I'm fangirling and I should just. Oh. <laughs> that was a really cool move. Oh. Um. Woo! <gasps> Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, he did it. Nice. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Whoa. Oh, it's so sad and crying. He's gonna be a strong dude. I'm excited for that. Who? <laughs> uh, is that a person before? They're gonna be people. Uh, oh my gosh, that's why I was crying at the end. Oh. That's... Oh. oh. I mean, still. That one was crying, though. I don't know.
Let's go. Damn. She's just chilling in a hammock. <laughs> I feel like this guy's at the point where he he's so strong that he's very chill about just everything. I feel scared for this kid. Uh, it's because he doesn't have friends. Like, I feel like that's the only reason he's sticking around. Oh, he was like from humans. Okay. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Precious little bean. Um. Yeah, this isn't obvious at all. <laughs> Okay. I'm assuming at the end they're just carrying the cage to see if he can actually see it, but like they're not being very discreet just walking right behind him. Okay, time to see. Are we getting a serious one or is it gonna be funny? Aww. <laughs> Aww, he's trying. He's like, Senpai, notice me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the heck! <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> Gojo is so cute. He's like, Senpai, notice me. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I love the little comedy things at the end. <laughs> I was not expecting that one, but that was hilarious. I love the little ending so much. It really changes the mood though. Like if the episode ends so serious and then it's like, oh, here we go. Time for another little funny short. I find myself laughing so much and I'm like, what if we end an episode off so depressing, so sad, and then they pull that one, like they do that. I don't know how I would feel about that, but. <laughs> Gojo and Kento though, they have something really special though. Oh my gosh, I love, I love Kento's character. He's epic for one. I love his attitude. I think he is like a caring person, you know, but it's, he's so serious. Sometimes you need people like that to keep you in line. So he's a really good character. I already love him. I already found myself really fangirling over him too. <laughs> And also I just love his relationship with Gojo. I think it's hilarious. Now with Yoshino, I feel, so bad for that kid but now i feel like he's going to be corrupt because to me i don't even think he had any friends with how it seemed like he was alone he was going to the movies by himself he was getting beat up by those guys you know seeing mahito do something like that he's like wow i really hated those guys and he was able to take them out i mean he was saying too he's like i wish there was like a button i could press and like they all could just go away and he got that and now i feel like i'm like this is not a good situation because He's obviously going to be used and I don't really see him as a bad person. He's just depressed and sad and and he's angry. So of course he had to get mixed up in this situation with the villains. I just hope he can be saved, you know? Like I feel bad. That was so disturbing though in the theater when Mahito was like, ugh, with that guy in his eye just bulges out. Ugh, it's so gross. <laughs> So I'm curious how the next episode is going to turn out. Could be very dangerous. They could be in a trap. And I'm wondering if they're ever going to see Mahito. But also I'm worried about Kento as well. Because I'm like, oh cool, we get this character. And hopefully he doesn't get hurt or die. Because, I mean, Gojo really likes him. I could just see bad things happening with that dude. And I really like his character. So I hope they don't do that. And his ability is to find the critical points and hit them was just... Man, <laughs> but that was a great episode. And again, all these cliffhangers are killing me because I'm like, now I want to find out what's going to happen with this kid. I feel like Ichidori is really good with people though. So maybe he can convince the kid. I can see two scenarios coming out of this. Maybe Ichidori, they talk to the kid. They don't really find out much. 
or maybe they do and he just doesn't want to be helped or he sees Ichidori as the enemy. So I feel like either way, it's going to be a really tricky situation, but <laughs> I also love how Ichidori brought up the whole eye thing, but we did get to see Kento's eyes, but I do believe his eyewear is for his ability to enhance it maybe. Oh man, this was just uh, very sad. I. <laughs> I hope nothing bad happens to this kid. And also the fact that these people are being turned into curses. Oh my gosh, that would suck. They were technically dead beforehand. But I don't know though, because we saw that curse crying. Like at the end, their eyes were watering. And I feel like if it was a regular curse, they wouldn't do that, you know? Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out my Jujutsu Kaisen reaction. If you liked this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Jujutsu Kaisen content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh, bye.